Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The second example that the author gives to show the beauty of Islam is the five pillars of this religion. The first pillar being belief in Allah, which we have already taken in the previous audio. So the author will talk about here the remaining four pillars. So the first pillar he will talk about here is establishing the prayers. Number two, giving in charity. Number three, fasting in the month of Ramadan. And number four, the pilgrimage to the holy house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is in Mecca. And if you were to think about all of these pillars, you will find that all of them have great meaning and great benefits to them. So if you were to think about the prayer, in the we learn sincerity, that we pray sincerely only for Allah, and that we turn only to Allah, and that we praise Allah, and we supplicate to Allah, and we are standing in humility in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is like prayer is like the water that we use to water the tree of faith. That if we do not pray on a day-to-day basis, then the tree of faith will not have as much water as it needs and it will become more dry. And in the prayer, one is busy with the remembrance of Allah, the one who created him, the one who is greater than anything. And prayer also allows one to stay away from bad actions and immorality. And now if you were to look at the wisdoms of charity, in the it shows and it teaches us to be generous and not to be stingy and to also thank Allah for the blessings that we have and also to protect our money and also being good to the creation and dealing with all of them equally and also fulfilling the necessities of others and especially those that are in need. And from the benefits of charity is that it stops those who are poor and needy from even asking or even begging for what they need. And if now, if somebody wants to look at fasting, in fasting we have, we learn to train our ourselves to leave off that which we love and that which is natural for us to love from drinking, eating and having relationships with our spouses. And it teaches one to have firm determination and patience. If you are to look at the pilgrimage, it teaches us how to spend the money and not to be stingy with it. And how to bear difficulties and how to deal with situations that could come suddenly. And there could be a lot of hardship in those. For anybody who has gone for the pilgrimage, they will know how hard it is and it is not something which is easy. And in the pilgrimage, there is veneration for Allah and there is complete submission to Allah. And we remember also the prophets and messengers who came before us. And those that know, they know that the, the idea of Hajj or of the pilgrimage was, was based upon the story of Abraham, of Abraham of, or Ibrahim alayhi salam. And in Hajj, we also or the pilgrimage, we also learn that we, how to deal with other Muslims, and we learn and we meet new Muslims, and that we all strive so that we can all become united.